Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing five hidden features for your Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra that you are going to love. So let's dive in and get started right away. So the very first feature I want to talk about is actually sitting inside your edge panels. If you don't have the edge panels enabled, I'm going to show you how to enable them, but they should be enabled by default. So to enable and activate that feature, you want to go to your settings, you want to go to display and scroll down and go into the edge panels, alrighty? And then simply make sure this is enabled. If you have it this off, it's not going to show up. If you turn this on, the edge panel is going to show up. This thing right here you can pull from the side. And then go to panels and make sure you have the smart select active, okay? You can activate the rest, but I'm going to show you this one right here that has a hidden feature. So let's go outside. And let me just go to a website right here. So here's a website. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in my edge panel. And I'm going to scroll over to the one that is the smart select, which is this one right here. Now there's a hidden gem at the bottom here that is known as pin to screen. So let me show you what that means. So I'm going to tap this. And you're going to get this window. You can move around. And what I'm trying to do, let's say, is some kind of research. So let's say I want to get this information here, okay, and pin that to the screen, tap on pin to screen, and now it's over here, as you can see, in this square block. And if I go anywhere, that just stays on the screen. So now I can launch my notes application, call somebody, text somebody, and I have this information that I can use to relate to them without having to memorize it. Okay, so that is absolutely fantastic. On top of that, there's a couple more things you can do with this. Let's say you need this information later. So you can tap on this guy and you can simply minimize it. Okay, so it just stays right there on the corner, super tiny. Tap it again to expand it and move it back into place. And also tap it, you can uh, exit out. Or if you want to save this as a screenshot, only this selected portion you can tap on this download button and that's going to save it to the gallery for future use. So that is absolutely fantastic. Now one more related feature, you may or may not know this, but again, if I'm on a website and let's say I want to copy all this text, sometimes when it's a link, it's hard to copy it because when you click it, it just takes you to the website. So here's what, what else you can do. Again, pull this in, grab the rectangle tool under smart select and just bring it over to where the text is that you want to copy and tap on done once you do that at the bottom you have this t symbol tap it it is going to extract that text from the photo and just give it to you just like that and you can copy that or you can share that right away it's up to you so you can do this with anything. You can do it from, for a, from a picture. You can extract text or you can extract text from anywhere on the screen. You can even extract this thing right here. Just as an example, bring it here, tap on done, tap on T, boom, it extracted the 53 degrees and also the time and the um, AM. Okay, again, copy it and share it. Fantastic tools, let's move on. Now the next thing I wanna be talking about has to do with the keyboard. So here's just a text message. I'm just gonna write something here. Let's just say A, B, C, whatever, okay? So let's say you made a mistake while you were typing it. Uh, normally you have to delete the whole thing or try to use your finger to get it right. You don't have to do any of that. You can use the space bar as a precision tool to put the cursor exactly where you want. So press and hold. And look at that, it says cursor control. So this works with a single line or a paragraph. You can go up, down, left, right, and put the cursor exactly where you want to make precision editing to something that you have written where you made a typo. So fantastic little feature right there. Let's move on. The next feature is very useful in many scenarios. It could be useful for your kid, with your friends, if you give your phone to a friend to show them something. You can make sure they only see what you want them to see. So for example, let's say somebody wants to use my calculator. I give the phone to them and then what they can do quickly, and a lot of friends do this, they just exit that and go to your gallery and start looking at your photos. You may not want that. So here's what you can do. 
Normally, when you bring up the calculator, you can tap this button, and there's an option here that says pin the window. That pins and locks a window, and only you can exit it. Now, to activate that feature, let me show you what to do. Go to your settings. Go down to security. Should be somewhere over here. Biometrics and security. Go down into other security settings. Alrighty. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down and enable pin windows. And then go inside and make sure ask for pin before unpinning is enabled. Now let me show you. Let's say your friend asked for your calculator or whatever. Okay. So or a game for your kid maybe. You give it to them. Here's what you want to do. You want to tap this button or swipe up. If you have the swipe gestures, tap over here and say pin this app. Now once you pin this application, look, if I tap the home button, it doesn't go out. If I tap this, nothing happens. If I tap this, nothing happens. So all they can use is this. Now what if you want to exit this mode after they give you the phone back? You press and hold these two buttons at the same time. Press and hold. And that's going to take you back to the lock screen. So you have to unlock it to get rid of that pinning. Now I can exit it. Okay. And by the way, if you're using gestures, if you have the gesture set up, you simply swipe up from the bottom of the screen and hold. So swipe and hold uh, to unpin it. So great little feature. Again, before you give your phone to anybody, tap, pin, you're done. They cannot go and look at stuff on your phone that they're not supposed to. Boom, boom, we're good to go. Now, another feature that we have has to do for people that use their headphones a lot, their Bluetooth headphones, or if you have a USB Type-C headphone, that's great. Let me show you what this is all about. You go to your settings, then you scroll down a little bit, you go to accessibility, and then you go into hearing enhancements. You tap on it, and what you wanna choose is amplify ambient sound. When you tap on this and enable it, Basically, here's what's going to happen. By the way, you're going to see a small man at the bottom. You have to tap to disable it and tap to enable it after you connect your headphones. But here's what's going to happen. This option, if you turn it on by tapping that little guy, is going to amplify the sound around you even if you have headphones on. So if you're listening to music in the subway and somebody's trying to warn you of something or just trying to talk to you, you are going to be able to hear them clearly with this option. This option is going to amplify the ambient sound further with headphones. So great little hidden feature that you can use. Now, one more feature I personally love to use is has to do with sharing. So let's say you're in your gallery and you want to share some photos or whatever. Okay. Now, normally when you select your items and you tap on share, what happens is at the bottom here is a mess, okay? Uh, apps you never use might show up right here. In my case, I use OneDrive, Drive, and Gmail, and Messages, and WhatsApp to share all the time. So I have them set up here. So to get that proper, let me just go back here. To change the order in which app shows up under the share screen, what you want to do is you want to tap on More. And then all you do is you tap on edit, okay? And then you simply move whatever you want to show up in the first place. And whatever applications you want to show up are going to be here, favorites. And then these are the other apps, okay? So let me just grab this as an example. Just put it right here. Now I'm going to go back. You'll see we have quick share, contacts, and then search image that I added. And again, if you want to access anything else, you can tap on more and get a full access to share with anybody but the most shared apps are going to show up right here so another fantastic feature that makes life easy and that's it for this video any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now guys have a fantastic day